Amber, and we are now on our second album made with one piece of 12 by 12 paper. So in the first video, I showed you these are the five sheets that I chose, and we did one yesterday, so if you missed that, I'm going to link it right up here for you. But go ahead and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the next three. So today is mini album number two, and then we've got three left after that. And I'm making them all using one piece of 12 by 12 paper. So I hope that you will craft right along with me. Go grab your 12 by 12 sheet and let's get started. I'm losing my daylight a little bit, guys. But so here's the second album. I've chosen the cute uh, mint green house paper. I love these little cottages. They're so cute. So what you're going to do with this one is you're going to cut this into four six by six squares. Super easy, right? So just put this in your paper cutter and you're gonna cut this down to four six by six squares. So we've got our four six by six squares and this is really a good one for like not double sided paper because as you can see, my back side of this paper is not very interesting, but we're going to go with it anyways. So you're going to take all four and score them the same. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're just going to stick this in your scoreboard. And these are the scores you're going to do. So this is, um, if you have an orientation on your paper, this is how it's going to work out. So of course, here's my little cottages. And you're going to score in at one inch and then at five inches. So that was one inch and five inches. Then you're gonna turn this and you're gonna score in at one inch again. And then you're gonna score at three and a half. So you're gonna score it the same on all four of your sheets. So now that we have all of our papers scored, let me show you the little cuts that we're going to make. So it's probably easier to see this way. So I have folded, so I'm going to fold on all my score lines and I'm going to crease it really well with my bone folder so that way you can see where I'm cutting and it's super easy. So again, we're made, we made our own envelopes here, um, but if you have an envelope punch board, go ahead and make envelope with six by six paper. Okay, so I folded on all of our score lines and we're just gonna make a couple cuts here. So you've got where this corner and this corner meet, you've got this panel right here and this panel over here and you don't need those at all. So you're just gonna cut them out by following the score line. So just cut those panels right off. That one and this one. So see how we cut those right off? Then you're gonna turn it like this and you have these two little squares here and you don't need those at all either. But here's what you're gonna do for those. So you're gonna take the cut straight across here and then for this cut, you don't go straight up, actually meet it at a little bit of an angle like this. So see, it looks just like that. Very easy. So again, take it straight across here but then on the top here, you're gonna meet it at a little bit of an angle. There it is. So you're just gonna do the same cut like this for all of your envelopes. Um, but let me show you what it looks like when we glue it together. So this is how the cute little envelope closes up. Isn't that adorable? So you've got these two flaps here, and then you're gonna close it like this. I know that's upside down but the front isn't <laughs> um, and before we do that let's go ahead and punch a little notch with our circle punch so if you don't have this don't worry about it but I like there to be a little pull right there because that's gonna be a pocket what you do to close this is you just add adhesive on these two little flaps right here so you're just gonna add your adhesive on these little flaps and the reason I made them one inch is because I think this size is cuter than to have like the long skinny size, but you can make 
these half an inch if you want and it'll just be longer, but I liked this cute little size. Okay, then you just flip that up and glue it down and you have yourself a cute little envelope. Isn't that adorable? So we're gonna be turning these into an album. So just do this now on your other three sheets. done and now we're gonna assemble our album so of course I want to choose one of the cute mint green ones to be the cover and I think I'm gonna choose this one actually you know what let's choose this one it's gonna actually open like this okay so here's gonna be the first inside page then you're gonna take an opposite envelope and instead of having the flap go down like this you're actually gonna turn it around and flip the flap over like that and then you're gonna take that flap and stick it in to the other envelope so it goes like that. So remember, just add glue to this side and add wet glue so that way you can have room to make it straight. It'll give you some time. So I've added glue to that and then I'm just going to stick it in there. Just like that. So now the pocket forms on top like this, see? And then this page just flips over, crease it down a little bit. Then you're gonna take your next sheet and if this is like the blue one, this is the mint green color again. You're gonna bring this flap back like this and add adhesive there. Love these glue bottles, oh my goodness. I was using them a while back and then I stopped and I don't know why I ever stopped. Okay, so then you're gonna tuck this little flap inside that envelope and glue it down. Okay, so now we've got our next one. And since this is our last page, you're not gonna do the same thing. You're not gonna do that because you want it to be kind of final. So you want this because if you did this, you would close it and there'd be like a random pocket on the back cover. So you want the pocket to be this way. So you're going to actually stick this in the, like the right way to where the regular envelope flap is. You're going to stick it in like that. So the two pockets kind of face each other. Again, this one's going to be opposite than the other ones. Have the pocket on this side and the adhesive's going to go right here. Okay, so then let's tuck that in. That's gonna be your last page. And then that is gonna be the back cover. So then you've still got this flap from your front page and it's gonna wrap around and act as the binding. Isn't that cool? So I think for that, um, I'm gonna use my ATG gun, but I'm not gonna put any, like where the spine would be right here. I'm just gonna put it from like here over. So that way there's like kind of a soft spine. So the book is more flexible. So I'm just gonna finalize this closure back here with ATG and just close her on up. So this is our cute little album. Isn't this adorable? So it has a nice covered spine here. Here's our front cover. And you've got all these pockets. Pocket there, turn it. And then you've got these two like random weird awkward pockets. So let's do something about that. I don't know if I'm playing with fire. Okay, so we've completely lost daylight now. So I went ahead and closed my blinds and my curtains and just have the studio lighting on in here. So hopefully the lighting's okay. But here's our cute little album and 
it just flips like this cute little pockets here and I did allow myself to use some cream cardstock and I just put some of those um, cut aparts from that sheet on there off camera and so these will fit in the cute pockets like this we'll fill those in a minute and then a picture can go here there's another pocket so this is just a cute little flip album one the pockets were really like close quarters like together so I kind of snipped off this part you can probably do that before you um, put the album together but there's our back page and I did already add a a little adhesive right here because I'm gonna actually add a little more because we're gonna add some seam binding to the back and I got this pretty seam binding right here so I'm just gonna eyeball the center and put that seam binding down um, to kind of cover the back right there I think we'll do that one it's just to um, keep it sealed ooh that's kind of cute actually the bow paper I think we'll do that so this is just to keep that seam binding sealed for a closure and remember this is the back of the album so it's just gonna go right here I think that's really pretty as a nice seal back there and then that way when you turn it this way you can tie it in a bow and close it and then we'll trim the excess but I kind of want to embellish this front just a little bit so I cut this little piece right here and I thought I could stick it like right there just to kind of make it like collage and cute. And this is just meant to be a teeny little cute album that you can swap with the friends and some little pieces of ephemera in the pockets. Or you can keep it in your purse with little pictures of your kids or for grandparents or anything. So I think that looks so cute. It looks like it's kind of cut off right there and I think that looks adorable. So there's what the cover looks like. And I kind of like how the house is sideways. It makes it look a little more artsy and collage-y. And then, like I said, I'm going to go through here and just stick these cute little tags in the pockets. You can do journaling on there. And even um, add more pictures into the pockets. So you know those little Polaroid zip cameras? The pictures would fit on here perfectly then you can fit more inside there. So this is our cute little album. Let me go ahead and tie it in a bow with the seam binding. I think this is adorable. So let's do a quick little flip through of our envelope flip album using one piece of 12 by 12 paper. So here it is with our cute little pockets on the side. I love that mint green paper, it's so pretty. And then we've got cute little items in these pockets as well. And then there's the back. So that is such a cute little album. You could make so many of these. Imagine if you took like a 12 by 12 paper pad and made one of these albums with each page. That would be so fun. So there it is, mini album number two. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm having so much fun with these 12 by 12 sheets of paper, making them into mini albums. Tomorrow's video is one of my favorites, so make sure that you stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.